let me pay whatever losses you got the night the Sarah Jane didn't show up. What losses? You packed this place with your friends. I need a night like that every night. Well, not me. Well, maybe sure. things will be different the next time. Oh, I'm sure. No, 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 no. There won't be a next time. If I keep going out on a limb for Sarah Day, sooner or later, I'm going to break my neck. I'm going to break his. Well, I vote for his. <laughs> Your purse is ringing. Thank you. <laughs> you want some more coffee? Yeah, I'd love some. All right. Felicia oh, yeah, yeah. Gallant. Miss Gallant, this is Dave Adams, BCPD. I'm calling about a uh, Sergei Radzinski. Yeah, well, there's only one Sergei. Uh, what is it uh, you need? Well, I don't mean to get personal, but uh, does he live with you? Why, uh, why do you want to know that? Well, he was just picked up for vagrancy. We found him sacked out on a bench in Foster Park. Um, when we asked for his address, well, he gave us yours. You want to come down here and clear this up? No, but I will. Honey, hold the coffee. Oh, where are you going? Uh -huh. I'm going back out on the limb. Well, I'm glad you decided to go out with me. Oh, like it's this big decision. Hang out with a guy that I'm crazy about. Or stay home and watch reruns. <laughs> well, when I called to ask you out, there was like this 10 second silence. I thought the phone went dead. I was in shock. Like, I didn't know if you'd even want to talk to me again. Why? You didn't do anything. It was Tito. Yeah. You know, I I can't believe him. I mean, making you think that he and I... As if, really. <laughs> Remy, the guy's whole life is about scamming. But see, we were never supposed to scam each other. That was our rule. Well, rules don't mean a lot to a guy like Tito. Let's get out of here. But... <laughs> we were friends. I don't know. I thought it was different. Well... I certainly can't blame the guy for wanting to be more than friends with you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm glad that I kicked Tito up. He and I are so old. Paulina, please. Let me help you now before things get out of control. You keep saying that Joe is in trouble. Why? What did he do? Well, for starters... This key I found on your floor opens the strong box that was stolen from the station. Today. So all this time you were asking me what it was, you already knew. So did you. You were at Grant's when Joe caught Cindy with it. <laughs> that strong box, the one Grant kept his money in? Yeah, that's the one. So could you please do us both a favor and look around the house to see if you can find it? I can't it? do that. Why not? Why don't I just have Joe call you when he gets in? What is going on? Where's Joe? Does he have the box with him? The truth? I don't have a clue where Joe is right now. Come on. Come on, this is very unfunny. Come on, Freeman. Oh, no. Ah, oh, hell. You're dead. Stone dead, Pam. And you killed him. I didn't touch him. I didn't even touch him. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. I didn't do this. It's too late. You're a killer. Come on, Freeman. Come on. Damn it. I got a possible heart attack victim on the docks. Uh, it's Pier 14. Need an ambulance. He's got no pulse. He's not breathing. Give me your name, please. What the hell difference does it make who it is? There's a man dying here. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, Freeman. Wake up. Damn it! I'm not supposed to end like this. Pretty nervous. All right, all right, it's clean up time. My number. Great.
Here he is. He's over here. What do you know of Freeman and his trusty P.I.? No pulse, no respiration. Pupils are fixed and dilated. I wonder how long he's been here. You think he's going to make it? No cardiac activity. Lividity is set in. No way. He's the only. This place is deserted. I wonder who could have made the call. Let's get into the morgue. Take it with you. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but I was just trying to get Dante to sleep when you got here, so it's late. I understand. Don't let me keep you. Look, I know you have questions. That's that's pretty obvious. But can't they wait till morning? Giving me the runaround's not gonna make anything. Better. I'm not lying to you. I don't know where he is. Uh, come on, Tony. What makes you so sure he's up to something? Ah. Uh. Please, you found a key. What makes you so sure it opens Grant's strong box? Because just this morning, I showed the box and its contents and this key to the DA. Uh, and what's so important about that box anyway? You're a cop's wife, you know that. Uh, you already have Cindy in custody for killing Grant. Right, and the box is our evidence as to motive. We don't have the box. We don't have a case. All right. Joe's the one who caught Cindy in the first place. If that box is evidence, why would he take it? I don't know. I don't know. I want to find out. Uh, you know, you make it sound like he's hiding something. Listen, Paulina. This is not easy for me, okay? Joe's my friend. He taught me almost everything I know about being a cop. But he was in the station when the box went missing, and I did find this key on his floor. Now, if he's stealing evidence, friend or no friend, I gotta know why. And if he is, what would that mean? Trouble. Big trouble. So why don't you help him by telling me what you know? Maybe that's it. Hello? Paulina, it's Josie. Is Tony with you? Yeah. Uh, Josie. What's up? I thought you'd like to know I have the famous strong box. The box is with you? Uh-huh. Well, where'd you find it? On Grant's goon. Freeman, the one who was with Cynthia this morning. And what's his story? We'll never know. He's dead. It's possible a heart attack. That's what the medics say. And I haven't found anything that says otherwise. Huh. Maybe somebody was covering their tracks. Or maybe he stole the box and dropped dead. Simple as that. What do you think? Well, let's see what the coroner's report says. I'll meet you at the station. Coroner? You know Grant's buddy, Freeman? The, the P.I., the one who tried to help him grab Kirk? He had the box, and now he's dead. So Joe doesn't have the box. That, that makes him not guilty, right? It would have been a lot better if he had been here tonight. And if I hadn't found this. I'm gonna go to the station and meet Josie. Good night. Listen, Paulina. Please call me when you're ready to talk. I mean it. routine, otherwise I really will have to kill you. Oh, Felicia, you did not have to do this. Oh, are you kidding? I love coming to the police station in the middle of the night. Felicia, I'm very sorry that you are yeah, yeah. to this, but uh, the policeman, well, he says I'm sleeping in park. I was sleeping in the park. I was schmoozing. Snoozing. Uh, yes, it was beautiful night for walk in park, so I'm walking, I hear the beautiful noises of the, the night, the breeze, the birds, I, I sit down to hear beautiful, peaceful melody in my head, and poof, I'm fall asleep. Policeman does not understand this. Yeah, I can't imagine why. Well, he didn't have any ID on him, and I could tell that he wasn't from around here. What, you just think I'm different? You're going to throw me into jail? Oh, you're lucky. A few years ago, I would have turned you into the CIA for being a spy. Oh, 
Oh, that's not a bad idea. Felicia, this is no time for make jokes. I'm not making a joke. You have such a nice way with government agencies, Sergey. Felicia, I am very sorry for every tiny little thing that I do to upset you, but my life, it is in your delicate hands. What are you going to do, squeeze the hands shut, or are you going to set me free? You know what? You really can't put him in jail. I mean, he wouldn't be in there five minutes before your other prisoners would be rioting, believe me. You will vouch for this guy? I guess I have no choice. He does live with me. Oh. He's my full-time Russian tutor. So, you want him? No. But I, I, will, I will take him. Thanks for having me home. Yeah, well, I would have carried your books for you if you had any. Wow. If I'd have met a guy like you when I was in high school, my life would have turned out a whole lot different. Well, we can't do anything about the past, but we can make the most of the present. Mm. So that's why you wanted to walk me home. That? And I figured it'd be a great opportunity to toss Blondie's peroxide bottles. <laughs> Unless you want to forward them to him. No way. He's going to have to be a brunette. <laughs> so, what do you think he's going to do now that you threw him out? Well, I hope he's going to go back to school. He seems pretty serious about this college thing. Since when does that kid mean what he says? He's probably never been on college campus, honey. No, I think he's pretty serious about it this time. What? Well, for a while there, he kind of wanted me to go up and room with him. Right. Okay, maybe he's decided he's got a thing for me, but it's not going to happen, okay? What if you never see him again? Then I never see him again. I told you, there's no place that I would rather be than here with you. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Nick, what is it? You know that feeling you get when, when you're thinking something's going to happen? Yes. Well, it's happening to me. Oh, what you think? <laughs> it's saying that Tito's out of our lives for good. And that's just you and me. Joe, thanks. Sorry, it's uh, just me. Oh, don't, don't be sorry, honey. I'm always happy to see you. But you'd rather see the captain right now. Well, it's, uh, it's just that it's late and Joe's out. Are you worried? It's hard not to worry when you're married to a cop. So what's with the bag? You don't expect me to do your laundry too now, do you? <laughs> well, normally I wouldn't pass an offer up like that, but actually I need a place to crash. Aren't you staying with Remy? Uh, no. It's, uh, didn't work out. What happened? You two have a fight? No, no. She, uh, I think she just, she got really used to having her own space, you know? So, what do you say? Well, I, I'd love to say yes. Why, why doesn't this sound good? It, it, Tim, there's a lot of stuff going on here, okay? It'd be better if you weren't here. Well, look, I don't want to crowd you or anything. No, it's not you. It's just, uh... I want to help you. In fact, back tomorrow, I'm going to go see Rachel and see if I can get her to sign off on the money so you can get back to school. You know, if I was... If I was the paranoid type, I, w I would... I think I would get the feeling that you're trying to get rid of me. No. No. Honey, I love you, okay? That's why I want you far away from care where you won't be involved in any of this. Involved in what, Mom? What's going on here? Obvious Joe didn't steal any evidence. We'll know for sure when we get the results back on those prints. Come on, Tony. What kind of connection would Joe have with Freeman? None that I know of. I gave Pauline a really hard time. You were doing your job. I found this on their floor. Look like a strong box key to you? Yeah, what does that mean? That's what Paulina said. Only one way to find out. Hmm? Yeah. Well, the lab says that the only prints found on that box belong to Freeman. Do I know the prints on the box? Nope. <sighs> it all fits. 
Freeman was here visiting Cindy when the box disappeared, and now it's his prints all over the box. Yeah, it makes sense when you think about it. I mean, with his boss gone, he probably thought he could come here and get what he was owed. Or maybe there was something else in the box that Cindy didn't tell us about, papers or something. And since he was in jail, he figured he'd just help himself. Maybe. A lot of cash in there, though. I mean, that's reason, reason enough for them to want it. Yeah, I gotta hand it to him. Taking it right out of the evidence room. Maybe he'd been here before. What are you thinking? If Freeman can swipe the strong box, why couldn't he have taken those shoes that belonged to Cindy that went missing, huh? Or the tape that had Grant confessing to torching Joe's place? I'll check it out, see if Grant or Freeman were here at the time the tape was missing. Yeah. Let me know what you find out. Meanwhile, I'm going to find out how a healthy-looking guy like Freeman drops dead from a heart attack out well, of Well, you should have the coroner's report in a few days, I called. Okay. I want to talk to that person who made the 911 call, too. <clears throat> hey, Adam. Yeah. Give me all the info you can on that 911 call. You got it. I guess I'm going to head out of here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't you want to see if it fits? Everything all right? Sure. Fine. Begin to roommate. Uh, uh, Tim thought he'd give Romeo a break and stay with us his last night in town. Last night? Yeah, he'll probably be going back to Rockville tomorrow. Have a good trip. Hey, where are you going? Bed. It's late. Wait. I've got news. His news, is it, uh, something for the whole family? You know what, I, if, if I'm in the way here, I can, I can just go sleep in the, the, the park at the, or the restaurant or something. No, I, I don't, I don't want you doing that. Wait. Hi, it's Pauline. I hope I'm not calling too late. Hey, you can call me anytime. What's up? Look, I hate asking for favors, but this is very important. I, I know you need your space and all, but c c can Tim stay with you for just a few days? Paulina, you know that normally I would do anything for you, but I don't know. You won't be a problem, I promise. No, it's just, it's just that when Tito stays here, it kind of makes my life difficult. You know what I mean? She wants Tito to stay here. Yes, I will take care of it. Remy, please, think of... Think of it as a favor to me, okay? It'll, it'll be for a couple of days at most. Paulina, I'm sorry. I just... Could you hold on one second? Sure. Now, is she, is she saying no? No, I thought she's thinking about it. Say yes. I don't get it. Just do it. I'll explain later. Whatever. <laughs> okay, he can stay. He can? I can? Yeah, Paulina, just for a couple of days, though, and then he's out. Remy, thank you so much. He'll be right over. Um, get your stuff, okay? Before she changes her mind, get going. What did you do to make her say yes? Well, take some advice. When you get a break, don't question it. Sure. Mom? Yeah? Um, this... This stuff that's going on, that's getting you all worked up, is, is there anything I can do to help? The best thing you can do for me and for yourself is to stay as far away from here as possible. I love you. I'm going. Good night. Good night. Okay, what happened? Where did you go? I know what I'm doing. Do you? Yeah. Well, Tony was here tonight. And what you want? She was looking for you. You're in trouble, Joe. I know it, and so do you. I'm begging you. Whatever it is, Joe, whatever trouble you're in, you tell me. I want to help you. I'm not in trouble anymore. Neither are you. Took us a long time to get here. But it's all over. We're in the clear now, okay? They can't touch us. 
Really? Really. It's over. What about the strong box? What happened to it? What difference does it make? What happened when you gave it to Freeman? Who said I gave it to Freeman? While you were gone, Josie called here looking for Tony. What'd she say? She said they found Freeman in the strong box and he was dead. What, do you think I killed him? I don't know what to think. All I know is that I'm scared. So if you did anything wrong, you need to tell me. Whatever it is, I have to know. Paulina, listen to me. I didn't touch Freeman. There's nothing for you to be scared about, okay? But Joe... No, Paulina, it is over. Freeman's dead. There's nothing to connect me to Freeman or the strong box. Yes, there is. What are you talking about? Tony found the key to the strong box on our floor. The key was here. I tried to cover for you, but when she sees that that key fits the lock, she's gonna know I was lying. So how about you and I start telling each other the truth? We're just about to close, good people. Oh, but for you, we're already closed. Oh, Adam, I you... guess putting pies in people's faces wasn't good enough for you, huh? You had to leave this nice lady with egg on hers. Do Adam you Adam. know yes, how many people know. she invited Believe to hear me. you and your he, tie he behind does. and he show knows up? knows that. I, uh... I brought him back here because he needs to talk to me, and I just didn't want to take him home. All right, okay. Well, that sounds more like it. So we can stay here? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Alicia, please, before you speak, allow me to express gratitude. My soul, it was withering in that gulag, but then you come like uh -huh. angel in chic designer fashion whoa, whoa, whoa. wardrobe before and you rescue me. Before you go me. any further, I just... I just w want you to know where I'm coming from. Felicia, I know you are from Chicago. No, 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 I, I don't mean that. I want you to know how I feel about it. But I know you. how you feel. No, you don't know. Yes, I do. I, uh, why else would you bring me here? Uh, it is obvious to me that you, you forgive me for deceiving you. You don't even <laughs> have to say it. Yes. Oh, yes, I do have to say it because I do not forgive you. You don't? No, I don't. You lied to me and you took total advantage of our friendship. Well, then why bring me here? Why not just walk away? Because I, I need... To discuss your future. But my future is with you. No. No, it is not with me. You will not live with me. You will not work with me. You will not, you will not ever have anything to do with me ever again. You got that? I got it. But straight through my heart. Sarah Kay, come on. This is really for the best. For best of whom? Okay, you don't want to marry me. But please, you don't want to be friends after we have been so common? And you're trying to say that we have a lot in common. We do, so you agree with no. me? No. No. That is not what I meant. I, I, I've been thinking a lot about your situation. You have? Yes, I have. And I, I feel that I owe it to you. Because I do care about you. That I, I, I think the wisest thing for you to do right now... Felicia, hang on every word. Honey, I think you need to face the music. I mean that literally. I think it's time for you to go back to Odessa. Black figures. I finally meet a normal guy, and then he goes completely schizo on me. What are you talking about? What do you think? One minute you're trying to get me to boot Tito out the door, and the next you're inviting him over for a sleepover? You don't understand. You're right. I don't. Nick... I thought we were finally getting somewhere. Hey, don't you think I'm going to bolt lock that door and spend the next, say, 20 years alone with you? Well, see, that was definitely an option. Until you invited Tito over, what's the deal? Well, I got an idea. I just hope it doesn't backfire. Well, what's your idea? Well, you know how we think that maybe Tito's pressuring Paulina for money? Well, I'm not it's exactly sure that's true. But Paulina, I mean... She loves this kid. I mean, if he told her that he was the Pope, she'd believe him. Nick, I think that's going a little far. Pauline and Joe got to be like family to me when I was with Sophia. I know. So I figured if he's going to be in town for a while, why not keep him close? But we can keep an eye on him. We? You and I are on the same page about Tito, right? Right. Right. Because I'm going to need your help here. You've got to make him feel like everything's real cool and you're giving him a second chance. So maybe, 
He'll slip up or something, and we can figure out what he's up to. I don't know about this. What's the problem? Well, where I'm from, you meet a lot of low lowlifes, but there's nothing lower than a snitch. Yeah, well, where you're from, you had to rely on Tito. You had no one else. Remember, you're not from there anymore. You've got friends now, like Paulina. You don't have to remind me. Paulina believed in me, and it changed my life. So, if Tito skimmed Paulina, whose side did you come down on? Paulina's. Well, there's your answer. But Nick, what if we're wrong? What if he's not really playing? Well, if Tito's on the level, then we don't have anything to worry about, do we? Now, look, I hate to break up the party and everything, but Mom said that you decided to uh, take pity on the poor little homeless boy. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say no to Paulina, even when she asks the impossible. If you don't want me, I can go. What, you think I'm going to go running after you? I don't know. Hell, I don't even know why you threw me on in the first place. What'd I do, leave the seat up? You know damn well what you did. Excuse me? Drop the act, Tito. Nick and I, we compared notes. You let him think that we were sleeping together? Or what? Don't play dumb. And I know how hard that is for you. Look, you stay out of this. It's between me and Remy. No, you put Nick right in the middle when you when you let him think that we were doing it. Oh my God! <laughs> Where'd you get this? Look, I, I don't know where this idea came from, but you know it's your problem to deal no, with. No, 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 no. See, it's our problem. We had a deal. We could play with anyone. But we had to be straight with each other. Peaches, the last thing I'd ever want to do is hurt you. Well, you should have thought of that before you started playing mind games with Nick. You know how long I've been waiting for this, for something real. And then you go and you try and blow it on me. Oh, my God. I never said anything to make him think that. Look, I don't know what you heard, but you're reading me wrong. OK, you want to keep lying to my face? Fine. There's the door. Nick walked in. I'm, he's insecure, so he assumes that something's going on. I didn't talk him out of it. I was just having a little fun. Well, you've got a sick idea of what fun is. <laughs> I'm only human. Look, Peaches, you and me have always been a team. And now I'm just supposed to step aside and let this guy come in and take my place? It's not your place, Tito. We were friends. That's all. And now I don't even know what we are. Don't say that. Always going to be friends, right? Friends don't... They don't mess with each other's lives. Okay, I'll admit it. I was jealous. You can't blame me sure. for that. Sure. Yes, I can. You don't run my life anymore. Right. You know what? You don't need me. That's fine. I'll go. Don't do me any favors. I'm not doing you any favors. This is for Paulina, and I will let you stay. On one condition. You apologize. Fine, I'm sorry. No. Not to me. To Nick. <laughs> oh, no, I'll do the dishes. I will I will clean your bathroom. I Apologize will... or leave. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? I'm sorry for making you think that there was something going on between me and Remy. Is that good enough? No. Now I want you to tell him that you are a jerk. And that it will never happen again. It'll never happen again. <clears throat> and I'm a jerk. Is that what you want? Yeah. It's not bad. Now I want you to tell him that he is the best thing that ever happened to me. And that you hope that we are very, very happy together. No way. Do you remember how cold those those nights were on the park benches? You're the best thing that's ever happened to Remy, and I hope you guys are happy together. Now what? You want us to kiss and make up? Don't push it, Tito. Don't push it. Felicia, I will exit your life, but I will never 
ever leave America. Please listen to me. Immigration just doesn't mess around. No. America is my home now. But they will find you and deport you. What about your, your family and your friends? No, I leave them all behind. Why? Why does anyone ever come to foreign shore to follow a dream? Whatever dreams you brought here, that it, it really hasn't happened for you, has it? Well, not yet. But I'm not going to give up. Felicia, many nights when I am a little boy and lie awake in the bed, my toes so freezing, I'm afraid they're going to step, snap off. My, my stomach empty, my, my body weak. And what is the one reason that get me through my hope my dream that one day i'm come to america land of opportunity that i will make the beautiful music and that that i will find a beautiful woman no, no well, your visa has expired believe me and those men in polyester suits are going to find you and they are going to send you back i don't believe in you that fanny grady oh, would tell me to give up well sergey radinsky is no quitter this america this land is my land this land your land you know what? There are people who could really lay low, keep a low profile, and maybe even get away with it. But honey, believe me, you are not one of those people. Felicia, everything I want is here. Everyone that I want is here. I cannot leave here. And I cannot leave you. Okay. So you happened to find a key on Joe's floor that happened to fit this box. I'd like to think it's a coincidence, too, but if the key fits... All I'm saying is it doesn't prove anything, Tony. I mean, this key could fit... could be a master key. It could fit a hundred locks. Possible. So we don't have any concrete evidence on Joe, then? No, but what do we have on Freeman? That the box was in his possession when he croaked? We have to do a background check on him. How did Grant know him? What does he know? I agree. He, he, he could have been in on this whole thing, Tony. He could have planted that envelope with all those blank papers on Grant's body, knowing it would put suspicion all over Joe. What, what are you saying now? That Freeman killed Grant instead of Cindy? He was the first person that Cindy called when she was arrested. They could be in on this together, you know, figuring they could share the money. It makes sense. Still doesn't explain why Joe hid the results of Grant's autopsy. You know Joe. He hates letting go of the reins. You told me you heard him on the phone and someone was pressuring him for money. I heard one side of the conversation, okay? I jumped to conclusions. So you really don't think he had anything to do with the strong box disappearing? With Freeman's death? I believe in Joe. Yeah. I want to, but I gotta be careful. Well, maybe you're being too careful. What does that mean? You're afraid of being accused of favoritism, so you're being a little extra hard on Joe. Look, why don't we make a case against Freeman as Cindy's accomplice? And ignore that I found this on his floor? Is that what you're asking me to do? Hey, I just spoke with the 911 people. And? Who made the call? Well, they didn't give me a name, but uh, they tape all calls. So is that the voice? Joe, Tony didn't come here to dig up dirt on you, but when she saw that key, she knew something was up, and we both know she's right. I think I trained her too well. Joe, she says she's not out to get you, and I believe her. I want to help you. No. No, you're staying out of this. No, he can't stay out of it, Joe. I've been in it from the start. I was so afraid that Tim would find out that I sold him when he was a baby that I, I, I went too far no, to keep no, my... No, 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 stop. No, 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 I don't no, hear this. Don't Joe, say this. you weren't even involved until Grant found out about Tim, and then he threatened to ruin our lives. Now, this guy, Freeman, he was Grant's P.I. He knew about me, didn't he? You're in trouble now because of me, aren't stop, you? Stop, stop. Anything I did, I am responsible for, okay? You have nothing to do with it. Do you understand that? No, no. We are in this together. We have to be. That's why I want you to tell me the truth. Did you do anything wrong? Are you in trouble because of what I Don't did? Don't you understand? No, it doesn't matter anymore, Paulina. What I did, why I did it. Too much has happened. There's no turning back. You sure about this? It's gonna work. Trust me? All right. Well, uh, looky here. Got my pillow, my blanket. We're happy for you. Yeah. Look, I don't mean to be a pain or anything, but it's a little, it's a little late, and I'm, I'm pretty faded. Well, go to bed. Well, 
I would, but you're sitting on it. <laughs> so you and Remy say goodnight. <sighs> Door's that way. Nick's not leaving. He's not? No. Didn't I tell you? No. He's gonna live with us, too. And Sophia's over. Is that okay with you? No! I mean, I thought you said it was off limits. To you, but see, I called Sophia, and she said that, uh, that Nick could stay as long as he wanted. See, Nick and her, they go way back. Sarah Game, may I give you a little piece of advice? I'm hung on every word. Women will take you a lot more seriously if you don't hit on them every time you talk to them. Hit woman? No. I wish I would never no, 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 do no. this. No, 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 that was just an expression. Well, perhaps, but my feelings for you, my feelings for this country, this is no joke. Oh, I, I know that. And I... so I will leave you alone. But I will never leave America. Because I would rather die first. So much has happened, and you and I, we haven't been talking. And that's the way it's gonna stay. What? Can't say any more to each other. I don't understand, Joe. What, because, do, you, what do you mean? Look, look, Paulina, Tony is not gonna give up. She found that key here. She's gonna be back here tonight, probably asking more questions. Now, you and I cannot be forced to testify against each other. But the less we know about each other's business, the better we are. You're scaring me. No, there's nothing to be scared about. There is nothing to be scared about. Not if you can't say anything to incriminate me, and I can't say anything that looks bad for and you. I don't like this. Anytime we've kept secrets, it's come back to hurt us and hurt us bad, yeah, Joe. This is different. Why? Because there's too much at stake, that's why. Look, I don't know what you've done. You don't know what I've done. And that's the way it's going to stay. this caller and he swears Joe was nowhere near Freeman when he killed over then Joe's in the clear. Yeah, I got a possible heart attack victim here on the docks of Pier 14. We need an ambulance and he's not breathing, he's got no pulse. Give me your name, please. What the hell difference does it make who it is? Look, there's a man dying here. What did that sound like to you? Same person it sounded like to you. Where's Joe? Joe Carlin. NBC Tonight, it's the one-hour season finale of Caroline, followed by a special hour of Mad About You and Dateline. NBC Tonight.